Hey guys, this is Michael Chin and welcome to episode 12 of the live scalping series. It's been about a week and a half since I posted my last video, but I'm back and I'll be ready to regularly post these live sessions. So stay tuned for that. I'm excited for that and I hope you're excited for that. Now, I see there's a lot of new faces around here. Welcome to my channel. Here we do a lot of live scalping and hold on, there's about to be a two-legged pullback here. So let me interrupt myself. There is a first leg and a two, okay, never mind. Ignore that. So I am obviously way too slow. I'm trying to put in a limit order here to see if prices come back and fill us, but no, this market has been crazy volatile. I mean, look at this bar. This one bar itself is nine points. That's insane. Usually bars are like two to three points. This is, this is unreal. So I'll come back to that in a bit, but you know, on this channel, I'm going to be doing a lot of live scalping. I'll be teaching you guys how to day trade and how to make $500 a day. Okay. So with this type of volatile market, you do want to be careful. I do scale back my contracts. I'm only trading two contracts at the time right now, which is uh, one scalp and one runner. And a lot of my money is going to be based on that runner. Okay. With this huge volatility, we want to see some big runners make us most of our profits. But anyway, let's talk about that crazy thing that I've been working on for the past week and a half. I've been building a course for you guys. This is going to be an all inclusive strategy course. So it's going to have everything you need to know. So let's take a quick look at that and then we'll come back to the charts. So Riley and I have joined together to build this website called day one traders.com here. We're going to be offering the scalping master course, which is going to teach you everything you need to know to learn about our scalping strategy. Okay. I'm going to share with you three of my most powerful scalping strategies that I use for over 90% of my trades. Then I'm going to teach you how to count legs and go through five different example lessons on that. So you're going to go through a ton of charts and by the end of it, completely understand how to count legs. Then we're going to go over strategy mastery. So it's not just enough to know those three setups. You actually have to know whether or not that setup is a good one for an actual trade. So things like identifying the trend, how to draw trend lines, reading the candlesticks, and then using the 21 EMA. And then after wrapping that all up, I'm going to give you a scalpers checklist. This is going to have everything you need to know before you actually take a trade. And to use that scalpers checklist, I'm going to go over 30 different chart examples for you. So each one of these charts is going to have a trade and I'm going to break down that chart with the scalpers checklist to tell you whether or not it would be a good or bad trade. After that, I'm going to teach you how to actually put in your orders and then just go over some afterthoughts. You know, talk about bringing this to reality, starting to go into live trading and some of the psychology behind that. Later in the future, I'm going to add some example charts here, but we're still working on it. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, check it out. Day one traders.com. Okay. We're back on the charts here. And I remember someone liked to say that they like to see my missed trades. So here's a missed trade here that I missed because the volatility was crazy, but here is a trade that there we go. So we got this one actually got this one. And it is one is a two legged pullback as you see here. Nice. And we're looking for that one point scalp, but this old trade back here, this was also a nice two legged pullback and this one rocketed off. We would have gotten that one point scalp easily. So there we go. We got filled high volatility is crazy. So it looks like a lot of these positions will just fill within seconds. And now we have that runner looking out to take this high up here at 3062. So if we get that, that would be a nice what? Looks like eight. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. So we're at one zero. Uh, we're only scalping one contract now, so it's only 50 bucks, but I'll take it. Can't be mad. $50 plus a little tick makes 6250. So let's see where the next trade is. And the next trade actually comes pretty quickly right after this last one over here. This is what's known as a higher low. It's one of the setups that I'm going to teach in the strategy course. So if you want to learn that, go check out that course. It's pretty helpful. Now with this higher low, we're still looking for that one point scalp and with the high volatility, I'm assuming that we're going to get it really quickly. Now, one thing I do remember was this old trade over here. You know why I missed it? I was helping people out in the Facebook trading group. So if you guys want to learn a little more about this strategy, go ahead and join that group. I'm very active in it, especially in the mornings. So if you have any questions about your current trades, I can definitely help you out in that room. All right. Well, I was looking for that runner to go up high. You know, I was like praying because these one point scalps are not going to let me hit my $500 profit target easily but two zero, $150 for the day. I'm pretty happy for that. 
market's been pretty stubborn. I think what it's been like an hour and the market basically has made like a V-shaped bottom, which is nothing we want to trade. But here we go. We got a nice two-legged pullback here. First leg down, second leg down. Nice two-legged pullback. We're looking for, you know, that market move of two. And I actually missed the stop order. So I just put in a limit order, hoping to get filled a little further back. Uh, but this position is like not looking so great for us. It's, uh, yeah, it's kind of going against us. Not happy here. Not too happy with the actual setup I took here. Um, you know, if you do get the course, I do talk about why this would be a bad setup, but it looks like we're getting a little lucky here because we did trade with the trend. Remember the trend is your friend. It's always going to help you out. So if you do take a bad setup, you know, you could just end up winning because the trend will push your prices higher. So if we can at least break above this bar, I think things would be good. So I'm actually going to try and set up a buy stop order above this, this bar right here. So if we do break out, I think prices will shoot up. And if we do break out above this bar, I think prices will shoot up even higher again, just as a small little trap there. But then I don't know, these candlesticks don't look too, they don't look too bullish. So a little afraid here. Hopefully something can work out for us. I do think if we do break above this. We are just going to launch off. Okay, there. Whew. So, yeah, this can get a little scary. But, yeah, we did break out of that top. And now it looks like hopefully we can launch off. There's not a lot of resistance. Biggest resist resistance is, like, up here at 30.68. So, okay, never mind. My runner got stopped out. So, uh, let's find the next trade. <laughs> now I'm stalking a two-legged trap. So, as you can see... There was one pullback, two pullbacks. So on any break above the previous bar, we'd be looking for all of these sellers here to immediately try and cover their positions as prices reverse. So I'm going to be having this buy stop order here above the previous bar, looking for some of these traders to get trapped. And there we go. So we are filled and we are now trapping all of these traders that tried to go short in any of these previous four bars. As you can see, Prices are moving up pretty heavily here. Looks like a lot of them are trapped. A lot of them were saying, hey, you know, this uptrend's over. We're going to go down. But are we really just going to go down? I think this is a pretty bullish trend right now. And I'd be looking for prices to go higher. You know, I don't know where. Maybe somewhere up here, please. Maybe just five points. I'll take five points. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. So this is really a lot of buying pressure here. This is pretty cool. Um, let's keep following this runner and see how far it goes. And that's what I'm talking about. Here we go. So we, we're up seven points so far. Looks like this thing is rocking and rolling. I don't like this one bearish bar here. A little scary. So I'm going to start playing around with my limit orders. See if we can cash out. You know, I'm fine with eight points. That's, that's like two scalps for me. And okay. It looks like, yeah, it looks like it's trend is slowing down here a bit. So I'm going to be tightening up my stops here a lot just in case. Yeah, this bar is getting pretty bearish, pretty scary. Please. Okay. Well, a little sad, but, you know, can't be sad about a nice eight-point runner. That brings us to, what, are we four zero for the day? And now I've hit my price target of $500, but it's about 8, 12 a.m. Still got a little time left, so I'm going to keep trading for, you know, around 20, 30 minutes before I got to head to work. And we get a nice looking two-legged pullback that's forming here, right? One leg, two legs. So we're going to wait for that to break above. But one thing you want to notice is this candlestick is pretty bearish. So I don't really want to buy right above it. I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to wait for this bar to form. And I want it to show some bullish strength. And if it does show good bullish strength, then I will buy on a limit order as prices start to pull back. So... Let's wait for this bar to close and see how it looks like. There we go. That's that's bullish enough for me. So I'm going to come in and try and buy a limit order here on a pullback. You know, as long as it doesn't break below this, it's not breaking that trend. So any buy here is pretty good. Looks like we got a nice fill at 30, 71, 20, 75. And it looks like we can actually get that one point scalp pretty easily. Hopefully it comes up. I mean, on this strong two-legged pullback, you know, we're just expecting prices to continue up higher with this bullish trend. There we go. We got it. And now we can follow along with this runner. Hopefully, it can go up. We aren't at break even, so that's kind of nice. We have a nice protected runner here. 
hopefully this thing can just like shoot up and we can make some nice money into the clothes. You know, it's about 8.30, I gotta start heading out and getting ready for work, so let's see how far this one can go. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet, but uh, this is a pretty bearish bar, so I'm a little scared here, tightening up the stop, and hopefully we can cash out. It looks that we got five points off that. I'm pretty happy with that, but yeah, I gotta watch out for these big bearish reversal bars. You know, they can really, t oh, that was huge volatility, big sell off, but that's okay. So we're gonna end the day five zero, $950 for the day. Pretty happy with that, with this intense volatility, but, that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Be sure to check out day1traders.com. Riley Coleman and I worked really hard to provide this course for you guys. And if you have any further questions about this video, please feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to help. All right, guys. Happy trading.